My name is Brandon Whitmore, and I've been dancing for 16 years. I feel like I'm something different. I'm not a typical ballet dancer, a typical modern dancer. I don't have the feet, I don't have the extension, I don't have the body to do a lot, a lot of these things these incredible dancers in here can do. But I've learned that you have to work with what you have. Like you can't just cry about it and you just have to push and push and push and when you push you'll see growth. As a student Brandon very unique because his um, his interest is not just dance. He's very deep in music and theater and literature. He's very wise, very educated. He's not just talented as a dancer, he's very knowledgeable and very like, how you can call this, renaissance man. I think I was six years old and I was always complaining about my ankle, but they never knew what it was. So, and they were like, well, we'll see um, if he grows out of it. I got here, the dancing year is intense. And so I was complaining about it my sophomore year. And I was like, I really need to get this checked. So I went to Stedman Hawkins and they did an MRI on my ankle and ended up being a extra bone stabbing against one of my nerves. Every time I would go in releve, every time I would point my foot, it would stab. So that injury had me out basically my whole sophomore year. No one really knew, but it, it was definitely a hard thing for me. I would find myself crying for no reason, um, flipping out on people. I would sit in dance class and Stoss, um, my dance teacher, said he couldn't even look at me because he knew how bad I wanted to be on the floor working. And during the healing process, um, when I got my wrap off of my foot, the day, I remember the exact day I got the wrap off of my foot, I came in here to turn the lights off and started doing my own rehab. Um, going at that bar right there, looking out that window. That window was my inspiration. I was like, I am going to do this. And I would push through the pain. I would push through it. And so that's when I just knew I have to do this. I don't want to dance. I have to dance. You know, with injury, it was a very um, difficult situation because when he came, you know, he's very energetic and he's very, very positive. But he cannot do anything because of so much pain and he has to like spend entire year doing actually nothing and i can see like a day by day he would become more and more depressed and i just it was so painful to watch him but he never gave up and he just moved step by step working very hard with himself if you're passionate about something go for it don't let anyone tear you down don't let anything tear you down just focus and go forward when I think about uh, Brandon's future, I can see very bright future because he's not just a great dancer. He's not just a good choreographer. There's so many things you can see for him because he's very bright and very intelligent. And he's like a magnet. He's always uh, unite people around himself. And I'm very, uh, I want to see what actually will happen with him in 30 years. He's like a piece of light, you know? A piece of light in darkness.